G'day YouTube, Joby from Oz here. Well, here we go, this is a little Bix burner running off a little tiny fuel tank filled with butane. And the flame seems to be quite neat, strong. Um, yeah, real little burster in fact. So I guess what our next step should be is uh, seeing if we can raise some steam. Okay, here we're going to do a boiler safety valve blow off test. Alright, so it looks like it safely blows off at around 55 to 60 psi. And has plenty of capacity to deal with all the pressure that that airline is putting out. Exciting. Okay, here we go. Oh, that is lovely. I'll check that out. So I guess, yeah, yeah, if I'd started with hot water, it would have been a uh, much quicker exercise. That's one of the tricks, I guess. So this little beastie is being a challenge. Actually, that's something. I can have a look at this rear sight glass. It looks like there's just a slight crack across here. Let's see what we've actually got, shall we? Okay, so it looks like it's a um, a vertical piece. Yep, so it has got a crick in it. And then it's just got an o-ring on the face. feel like glass even. Just feels like plastic. I just laser cut one out. Should have plenty of acrylic around suitable for that. Oh that's a good win. Something sounds a little bit like it might be getting to boiling. got to tell temperature nothing at the moment all right so nothing stopping me from going further into this little beastie whilst we wait for the uh, heat to swing up you can hear the sound of bubbles now Yeah, I think so. Bing, 
who did that? Somebody did something on YouTube. Okay, do you want to try that? Break the screw head off. So zero pressure. Yeah, you were saying about these wheels the other day. They are, they're solid on the shaft. There's no way that they've spun on it. So I'm really thinking it's just down to, they weren't really running smooth at the end of that. Once I did my little bit of stuff. So yeah, probably take all the sheet metal off. Bit of silly little stinners as I make Keith would say. and get rid of the rust, be ready for a coat of the light blue. Look, it was running well with one piston on it. Um, like the wheels spin, no worries at all. Um, But yeah, when I was hammering the end of the piston in, I put a bend in the shaft. So it's just slack bugger me. So uh, it just feels like this is tight. Yeah, exactly. Make another one. Learn how to do it right, as they say. It might also be I just need to lap the base in a little bit. I can see just down in in the top there, there's a slight witness mark. So maybe the, I deburred it a bit after I drilled the holes through, but maybe it's still got a, a bit of running in to do or a bit of just lapping it on a stone. Where did I put the piece of, there, water, get the water out. One good thing about working on a brick and tile floor, it doesn't matter if I get water on it. Oh, I heard a something. Can you see any air bubbles anyway? Oh, yep, yeah, I can see the, the little bit of something happening at the uh, safety valve. Speaking of patience, this is one of the jobs I've got to do for a mate, Troy, once I get my 3D printer printing again. It's only been sitting here for two years. The dribble on the top of the sight glass. Ah, uh, yes, up here. Now I did twist that tighter, only gently tighter, but I did. Is it still dribbling there now? I did a slight bit of a twist up here and also one on that back. I didn't want to tighten them up too much. More packing, okay. top off and it should slide out. Yeah, so I pulled all this out to clear the um, the tube because uh, it was all crappy inside. Yeah, and it, yeah, it did have an O-ring, but I didn't replace it. So yeah, probably a fresh O-ring from my uh, O-rings of sus, assortment. Silicon, you reckon? Okay. I'd only got a silicon one. Oh, I think we're off the zero. I can see a bit of moisture up here. Where'd my little Barco spinner go? Silicon. Delicate. I noticed that um, there's quite a bit of play in the. Oh, that might just be the baseboard. Huh. 
It was me thinking it was the machining. It might just be the bolts on the baseboard that are loose. Well, that'd be a thing, wouldn't it? Don't forget to drain it when it's had a run. Oh, the motor or the boiler. Ah, uh, yes. Now, I'm still working on that because it's got a caked up bit of smeg at the bottom that I've not been able to release. So I'm thinking to boil it in some hot water to try and clear the gunk out of there. Okay, we're rising. We've got 15 psi in the gauge. So I can certainly see where boiling water first would have been prudential. Now there is a bit of, I, I guess that o-ring is a bit hard, so it's not seating flat, it's got a bit of a level, dribble. So I um, put a new o-ring off the fuel tank and that seems to have held up pretty well. We're well, getting to 20 psi now. Decent valve, yeah. Yeah, I went past the bike shop, but the bastards, they didn't open until 10 o'clock this morning. I've forgotten the way home. All right. And we're away. Oh, beauty. Check that. So pressure's dropped down to about 8 psi at that. Sweet! Looks like the safety valve is just starting to blow off there. And it's down to 10 psi again.
the titch valve. Yeah, I think the O-ring on that thing might be a bit buggered. It's not, it's not sealing well now. It's just dumping steam. Yeah, well, I guess if I stop the leaks occurring, that'd be a good thing. Even just putting a new rubber on it might be enough just to get it to run as is a bit better. It's warm. Start with turning off the burner, I think. Funny that, yeah. Uh. Ah well, there you go, the inaugural first run of the John Coombs, James Coombs. <laughs>